Hello everyone. So in this video we will discuss about FILTM useful commands to troubleshoot the issues. Right. So first of all we will discuss about basic definition of pool, pool member, host, node and service. So what is pool? So pool basically it means collection of server. Right. To which user request can be sent. So let me show you one diagram. Okay, so this is a diagram. In this diagram, you can see in LTM under local traffic. So there is an option pool. So when you will create a pool, you need to define the pool members. Right? On a new click, click on the new add the pools member. You need to add them at those members right and how LTM work LTM work on reverse proxy right and under local traffic there is the option of virtual server you need to create a virtual server under virtual server you need to define the pool uh, under the pool you need to create a pool members same thing this is our F5. Under the F5, these are the pool members, right? And uh, next is host and node. So, if you are building a new setup and you want to add servers in F5, you will create a node on that time. So, next is service. So, when you are creating a pool you need to define the service detail either the connection will become on 443 connection will become on the 80 port so next is if you want to ping the server detail you want to do the tell ping you can check the reachability of backend node telnet will help you to check the destination port is listening or not on the backend server same take example this is our f5 and uh, we i have three servers right all are running on port double five double five from this ltm you can do the telnet to identify the server are listening this port or not so let's take example in f5 all backend nodes are showing offline but Server owner is saying, my server are up. Please check on F5. Might be the monitoring is not working. So we need to check the monitoring. If monitoring is correct, do the telnet and inform server owner. Please check on your server. This port is listening on uh, on double five double five or not. So he will check if he identify the port is disabled. Okay. So you need to request him to enable this port on your backend server so that in F5 these node status will be show up straight. Okay, so next step is you can access the server directly from your system from browser as well next step is you can do the curl command curl will identify uh, uh, we can we use it during the time of troubleshooting to access our virtual ip reachability if your server are working on port 80 or 443 you can check that so next is very useful command to check the active connection to delete existing and old connection. It will be very helpful during the time of troubleshooting. Means the old connection is still there. You want to see the new connection on F5. So on that time this command will help, uh, help you. So this is a show command. Show command will show you all the details all the details on the virtual IP.
ओवर डिटेल में शो सिस कनेक्शन कनेक्शन डिटेल सर्वर एड्रेस यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट प्रेस सेंटर नेक्स्ट इज यू वांट टू डिलीट डिलीट सो ऑफ वर्चुअल सर्वर आईपी एड्रेस यू नीड टू डिफाइन दैट ऑल द कनेक्शन आर कमिंग ऑन दिस यू वांट टू डिलीट दैम टू सी द न्यू कनेक्शन यू कैन चेक द क्लाइन आई शो कनेक्शन यूजिंग द शो कनेक्शन आई डिटेल एंड यू कैन डिफाइन द पोर्ट डिटेल एज वेल इट विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो दीज आर सम एग्जाम्पल्स यू कैन यूज ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ ट्रबल शूटिंग लाइक यू वॉन्ट टू सी द क्लाइन आई पी एड्रेस एल टी एम सर्वर आई पी डिटेल सो दीज आर दिंटेक्स यू नीड टू डू दे एंटर इट एल टी एम सोर्स पोर्ट एल टी एम सर्वर साइट पोर्ट डेस्टिनेशन साइट क्लाइन सोर्स पोर्ट नंबर डेस्टिनेशन पोर्ट नंबर सो नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज सिक्स स्टेप इट्स ए टी सी पी डम कमांड इट्स वेरी यूजफुल कमांड टू ट्रबल शूट द इश्यू एंड यू इन रियल सिनेरियो यू कैन टेक द कैप्चर टू चेक द इनग्रेस एंड एग्रेस इंटरफेस ट्रैफिक यू कैन डिफाइन द वील एंड एंड आई पी एड्रेस पोर्ट डिटेल एंड यू कैन सेव इट इन पी कैप फाइल दिस इज इंटेक्स you can do the capture based on source and destination ip using the port number as well so basically you can run the capture between uh, a and b ip address along with port number so these are some optional you can say uh, the parameters you can use interface name vlan detail capture all the traffic Uh, w for write the capture. Uh, uh, you can say capture the traffic to a file. File in P cap file. You can open it while sharp. You can uh, check that all the connection are up. Is there any retransmission? Any delay in the traffic? You can check that. So next is how to check the logs in F file. So these are command. logs will save in the var log directory you can open it cat ltm show sys log ltm you can check the range wise days wise and other is very important you can check you can define the range from 1 to 5 date i want to see all the logs so it's a very very useful command it will help you in light troubleshooting 